Hello, and welcome to the Center for Women's Leadership Mentoring Program. This is the orientation for new mentees. My name is Connie Witten, and this is Michelle Reese, and we will be hosts for today's training. The Forbes School of Business and Technology Center for Women's Leadership focuses on strengthening the leadership capacity and competence of female leaders to support our leadership in universities, organizations, and communities worldwide. The mission of the CWL is to provide a community for networking and professional development and to make recommendations to organizational practices through existing and novel research. We envision a world in which all women are empowered as leaders. The CWL mentoring program looks at matching future women leaders with mentors in areas such as networking, professional development, overcoming challenges to achieve diversity, gender equity, inclusion, and empowerment, and to provide the resources for development and success. The CWL wanted to share just a few interesting facts on mentoring. This is an interesting group of statistics. Did you know that 71% of Fortune 5 companies 500 companies have mentoring programs, and those with a mentor, 97% say they are valuable. And yet only 37% of professionals actually have a mentor. The good news is 89% of those who have been mentored will also go on to mentor others. All right, thank you, Connie. So the matching process. Our matching criteria and method for pairing our program participants has evolved over time. We are confident we will pair you with someone you can instantly connect with. Our mentors are the best of the best in their professional lives. They consist of faculty, staff, or alum here at the UAGC, and those that are also affiliated with the university. Our mentees are the ones that desire to grow their professional and personal presence and current students or even alums here at the UAGC. We use as much information as we can, including the growth opportunities for the mentors, for the mentees, professional strengths for the mentors, the current region in which you reside, military affiliation, work experience, industry knowledge, and even family dynamics. All of that goes into the system and that's how we pair you with a mentor. You may have questions on how we pair our mentors and mentees. It's through an application process. The program collects specific details and places each person in an algorithm system. This is how we find the match. And I'm sure you're gonna to want to know how the mentors and mentees meet. Each connection meets once per week in a method they select. The program recommends via phone or Zoom. What's covered in those chats? The program consists of eight modules where there are action items and resources. In addition, there are ideas for application. The modules help to guide your conversation and interaction. All right, now it's the mentor-mentee relationship expectations. We want to ensure all program participants understand the expectations of a mentor and a mentee. We do expect that our mentors are available, motivators, sounding boards, experienced, encouraging, reflective, and honest. We do not expect any of our mentors to be a therapist, academic advisor, judgmental, tutors, law officers, superheroes, a financial source, or know-it-all. Please know we are here to support you every step of the way. If you ever come across a question or a situation and you need some guidance, don't ever hesitate to reach out to your program coordinator. The CWL Mentoring Program offers a series of modules. You and your mentor will define your program plan and meet weekly to discuss topics that are meaningful to your personal and professional growth. You'll build relationships through personal connections and networking. 
you'll complete action items that are carefully designed for each area of the program. You will connect with your mentor on a personal level to embrace their knowledge and ensure success. You will be given several opportunities to provide feedback for continued growth. And finally, you will be encouraged to run your, with your new knowledge and excel. Modules one through eight are required modules for the program. Unlike the traditional CHAMP mentoring programs, modules two through seven are a menu for the pairing to move through at your desired rotation. While we encourage a straight line, growth is sometimes a scatter plot. There is no right or wrong, only success. In this introduction, you are provided with a solid platform for understanding the program and the concepts of motivating the CWL to engage and empower women leaders. This module provides an opportunity for both mentor and mentee to become familiar with the CWL mentoring program and the relationship building process. When complete, the mentor and mentee will have a clear understanding of the objectives of the CWL and the CWL mentoring program. Module eight is a wrap up module where the mentor and mentee provide valuable feedback, reviewing the programs and the outcomes of the pairing. The module includes a mentoring closure survey for the mentee and a mentoring closure survey for the mentor. The module options include Module two, which provides a platform for mentor and mentee to identify and discuss strong women leaders in our culture and identify character strengths they emulate. Module three provides the mentor and mentee with an opportunity to define success and reflect on the experiences that have shaped personal and professional paths to date. Module four helps the mentor and mentee identify the gaps in both perception and practice between the ideal employee and the lived experiences of women in the workplace. Module five offers food for thought on managing how the workplace influences a leader's self thought and how a leader's strong and empathetic sense of self can foster a better workplace. Module six explores how networking has proven to be important for success in many areas such as career professional opportunities, self-improvement, marketing, and education. This module lists areas to help grow networks and gain new insights. And then module seven hones in on personal skill sets and the processes for seeking growth opportunities in a chosen and chosen leadership path. And now I'll turn it over to Michelle to walk through the CHAMPS technology and platform. All right, Connie, um, if I can share my screen. All right, so let's get into our profiles. The first step you're going to do is you're going to go to champs.ashford.edu or champs.uagc.edu. Hit enter. Next thing, you'll have to put your email in there. It's going to be the same email that it was when you first signed up. If you don't know what that email was, just reach out and we can get that email for you. Then you'll be putting your password in. If you forgot your password, you'll have to reset your password. Come down here where it says forgot password and that's how you can reset your password. Once you have all your information in, go ahead and hit the red tab that says login and get into your profile. First steps, what we're going to be doing is once you log into your profile, you're only going to see these big boxes across the screen. When you are paired with your mentor, you will have this section right here, which is your mentoring section. I will be covering that in just a few minutes. But before we get started in any of that, um, you're going to need to update your profile. Come over here where it says edit profile. Click on that. 
you will upload a profile picture of yourself. Please make sure it's professional. No pictures of our children, no pictures of our pets. We need a picture of yourself only. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here where it says my contact information. You're going to click the arrow to drop down. Please double check to make sure you're in the correct time zone. If you're not sure if this is the correct time zone for you, go to Google and type in what time zone is, put your city and state, and Google will actually let you know what time zone that city and state is in. If you make any changes here, hit the red save button. The next thing you'll do is come down here, task required prior to being matched. Come over here to the drop down area, open that. There's a lot of great information in this section. This is where you'll find your program coordinator. I always recommend copying your program coordinator's email address and putting it in your journal. I'll show you where your journal's at in just a little bit. Next thing, we want to know the best day and time for us to give you a phone call. Because once you complete your orientation, you will be receiving a phone call from a program coordinator. And they want to make sure that they call you during the times that you're available. So make sure you complete this section. You get to skip step one. The program coordinator will complete step one for you. You are going to drop down to step two where it says completed orientation. We need to know how you completed that. Click the drop down. Do not select the first ones. Look to see which one it attains to you. And since you're watching the recorded version, you want to click on Watched CWL Recorded Orientation Video. And once you put in step two, step three will appear. This is where you're going to hit the drop down. There's many sections. Um, these are sections for the champ side. The one you want to select is Center for Women's Leadership Plan. That's the one you want. Select that one. You get to skip step four. The program coordinator will complete that for you. So you're going to just hit that red save button right there to save what you just put in. The about me section, by all means, you can update your about me section anytime you want. If you um, have accomplishments that you've done, you want to um, show them off, um, go ahead and put that in there. Um, it's nice to be able to put your accomplishments in about me section so everybody knows um, your information. And then remember to hit save. Another important in information is make sure your time zone is correct up here as well. And if you want to change your notifications on how you receive your notifications, do you want them daily, weekly, do not notify um, any activities or program updates. You can select what you want and you can hit save as well. Now we're going to come over here to the help resources now that we've covered the profile. We're going to go over to help resources. We're going to first come to the CHAMPS Quick Start Guide. Click on that. This will actually help you get familiarized with your profile. Click in the center of it. And you're going to scroll down until you get to the overview navigation. So this has numbers in different sections. So you can see exactly what each section is. So if you wanted to know what this section was, which is a number five, you can scroll down until you find number five, which is right here. It says, my mentoring connection. If you wanted to know what this section is, that's a number two, you're gonna scroll up and it shows search program messages to administrators only requests for upcoming meetings. That is that section right there. If you continue to scroll down, you'll get to the main menu. 
you can look at um, the CHAMPS roadmap, overview, navigation dashboard, profile setup, mentoring connections, milestones, messages, meetings, articles. We do have an article section. So if you find an article that might be useful for someone else, go ahead and post that article. Events, help resources, and we do have a mobile app. If you click on the mobile app, it will take you directly to that section. If you have an iPhone or an Android, go ahead and type in the word Kronos, C-H-R-O-N-U-S in your App Store or Google Play. Android users, make sure you look for the icon with the green star and the green dots around it. That's the correct um, app that we would like you to download on your phone if you would like to. Once you find it and you upload it, it's gonna ask you for the, pro for the program URL, which is right here, champs.ashford.edu, or it may be champs.uagc.edu. Put your login and your password. So anything that you do on your computer or laptop, you can do directly from your phone. After you're done viewing a section in the main menu, you can just click right here, main menu, and it'll take you back. So then the next thing I would like to cover is we have our Um, different chats, but that's for the CHAMP site. If you would like to attend any of our chats, you're more than welcome to. Feel free to join any of them. They're all over here. CHAMP's chat, open mic night, <clears throat> study tips, Q&A, and Holistic Wednesday. You can also click right here on view all, and it gives you a bigger picture of what we have. Um, not everything is listed under our help resource section. We do have, and I don't see it over here, um, our mentoring connection area. Um, but get familiarized, play around, um, go into help resources, view all, look at the different things that we have to offer um, any of you. If you have questions, by all means, send us a message and we'll be happy to respond back to any of you. So here is that article section right there. Um, and then next, if you wanna get back to your profile, if you're over in this section, all you have to do is click on home and get back to your profile section. Now that you're back in your profile section and let's say it's Tuesday, you have been um, paired with your mentor and it's time to get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log out of your email, log into your profile, and you're gonna come over here, um, click on the names. That's how you can view everything. Instead of just looking at what's here, you can view the entire module plan. Click on it. And then you have all these tabs up here. We're gonna cover these tabs. But first thing you're gonna do, if you um, receive that email notification, you're gonna come in here where it says messages you're going to either respond back to your mentor or you're gonna send them the first message. And in the message, you're gonna let them know who you are, you're excited about getting started, um, put down some available days and times that you're available when you refer to times, make sure you refer to the time zone. We try and keep everyone in the same time zone, but sometimes we have to pair Eastern with Central, Central with Mountain, Mountain with Pacific, Pacific with Hawaii. So be cognizant about your time zone. Let your mentor know what time zone you are located in. And make sure the important thing is your contact phone number because they need to contact you. And then hit send. If they send you the first one, reply back with that same information I just um, gave you. If you send the first one, Make sure um, if you don't hear back from your mentor within 24 hours to contact the program coordinator and let them know. If you receive a message from um, your mentor and they don't hear back from you within 24 hours, they're going to be contacting their program coordinator as well. So after you do that, then I recommend coming over here and looking at the first module. You can read all this wonderful stuff 
that the CWL put in um, for everyone. And then here is the action items. You can start clicking on the action items and viewing the materials. So once you review the materials and you've been in um, communication with your mentor, um, the mentor will say, we're gonna be covering the first module, um, review action item one, two, three, four, five. So you're ready to go. And so that's why I tell you to get a jump start and start looking at these action items ahead of time. So this way you and your mentor can discuss the information that you found in each action item. So now the two of you are either in Zoom or you're on the phone covering the different action items. To pull up the action items, you just click on it. And another screen pops up over here and you can view the action items. There may be links in here um, for you to look at. Click on those links. You can add comments as well. Um, this way the mentor can see your comments. It's the mentee's responsibility to check off these action items. How you do that is you just take your mouse and click on it once you and your mentor have covered these action items together. So you just pull up another one. And here is some links. Just like I said, you can click on the links. Click here where it says show more. Here's some more links. You can click on that. You can read all this wonderful information that they have supplied for you and keep working through each action item. When you are finished with a module, go ahead and fill out the reflection and feedback. And then down here, you will have a check-in to do on module three. Make sure you complete that as well. The check-in is feedback that we receive from all of you. And um, that's how we can make improvements into the program. So make sure it looks like there's only two, um, number three and number eight. This is the closing survey um, that we re receive the feedback from all of you. So then the meetings, the mentor usually sets up the meeting, but once they set the meeting up, it'll go over to you on your side. You go ahead and accept it. This way the program coordinator knows the two of you are working together. You're utilizing the tools provided to both of you in the program. Go under your goal section, add the goals that you'd like to accomplish. Cover those goals also with your mentor so they know what goals you want to reach. It's kind of nice to have somebody else on your side that are helping you and guiding you into the direction to accomplish those goals. Here is that journal section right here. You can add any information you want. I always tell everybody to add their program coordinator's email address in here. This way you're not trying to figure out where exactly in your profile it's at. So go ahead and add the program coordinator's email address. No one can see what you put in your journal but you. You can put notes in here for each module that you want to ask your mentor. Whatever the notes are, you have them right there for you. So I think that is everything that I need to cover with all of you. I'm going to stop sharing so then we can go back to our slide deck. All right. Thank you, Connie. All right, so basically setting up your profile. <clears throat> what I showed you all, make sure your time zone is, is correct in um, your profile area. You don't need to worry about the connections. Um, you will only be connected with one, one mentor at a time. Next slide. All right, so your basic information. Um, this is where I explained about me section. You can update at any time. This way students or uh, faculty and staff can read your accomplishments. It's a great, it's a great place to um, put those accomplishments in. Next slide. 
Profile picture. Okay, remember I covered the profile picture? The ones with the green check marks are the professional ones. The X's are non-professional. So be cognizant on your profile picture. We want to make sure they're professional. When you're paired, new pairings are arranged every Tuesday. When you're paired with a mentor, you will receive an email notification. Your mentor will be reaching out to you within the first 24 hours by sending a message through the champs to say hello and to get that first meeting scheduled. You will receive an email notification when your message has been received signaling the beginning of your journey. At this time, you will also receive a message from your program coordinator introducing them as well. All right, building that relationship. As we mentioned earlier, you can expect a message from your mentor soon after you've been paired. Your mentor will provide some times when they're available for your first meeting. And we ask that you do your best to be available during one of those times. If your schedule will not allow it, be sure to give them a couple of options, best day, best time, that might work better for you. Establishing times that fit both of your schedules is the key to a successful journey here in CHAMPS. Once you have your first day and time set, you're gonna be off and running. All right, so to check off the activities, one, as I mentioned, it's the mentee's responsibility to check off the actions um, in your mentoring connection. Um, make sure that after you and your mentor have completed each action item, you go in there and you check those off. That's an indication that you're going through the materials together. Next steps. Let's take a quick run through our next steps. Um, so that way you are ready to become an CWL mentee. Make sure your profiles are 100% complete and published before you're paired. Review the modules and the activities once you receive that email notification stating you've been paired so you're ready to go. Connect with a staff member or program coordinator if you have any questions. Get ready for pairings because our pairings are done on a Tuesday. So be on that lookout for the new pairing email notification. Once you are paired, please connect via phone um, with your mentor at the time and agree on the method the two of you are going to be working together with. So the mentoring connections, we wanna um, hear from you. Feedback helps us celebrate your success and aids in making changes to our program. After each module, you'll have the opportunity to complete and submit feedback. Mentors will respond to a check-in survey via email with the completion of modules one through eight. Mentees will respond to the check-in survey via email with completions of module three. Once the pairings reach the end of the program, there will be a survey for both the mentor and the mentee to complete and provide feedback regarding the experiences related to their program. All right, if you have any questions, you can reach out to Evan Gray, who is the program manager, or Michelle Reese, that's myself, um, which I'm a program coordinator. You can also email us at champs at, ash, or at uagc edu. The team here at the CWL and Champs want you to enjoy yourself while going through this journey. Remembering mentoring is a two-way street. You get out what you put in. A mentor is someone who allows you to see the hope inside yourself. Thank you, everyone. If you have any questions, please reach out to your program coordinators. And we are so happy that you are beginning this journey. Thank you. <laughs>